Hi, my name is Dr. Steve Kolakowski. I'm a vascular surgeon here at Choice Medical Group, and I'm here today to talk to you about one of the most common vascular diseases that are affecting the United States Americans. More than 21 million Americans a year are diagnosed with peripheral vascular disease. The common symptoms that patients may describe are aching in the legs, um, walking with difficulty, cramping in the legs, wounds that may develop in the feet or the legs that are not healing as appropriately, or they may be asymptomatic completely. However, patients who have peripheral vascular disease have a very common risk factor pattern. It increases with age, number one. Males are more common than females. Uh, patients with hypertension, diabetes, smokers, patients with high cholesterol, obesity, patients with limited activities and low exercise, and finally family history affect patients that are increased risk of peripheral vascular disease. Period. When I see a patient in the office for peripheral vascular disease, I will ask them those questions regarding the risk factors and we will commonly do some diagnostic testings which are non-invasive including ultrasounds and blood pressure cuffs on the feet to evaluate how much blood is actually getting to their feet. So in conclusion, peripheral vascular disease is a fairly common problem in the United States and is treatable most of the time with medical management. However, if you notice you're having any symptoms of leg pain or difficulty healing wounds, you need to see a, your family doctor who will refer them to me and I will be able to uh, control those risk factors. Again, seeing a vascular surgeon doesn't have to be scary because, like I said, most of the time we never have to operate if we can treat these patients early with medical management alone. I want to thank you very much for your time.